You get to adjust it. You can get it modified. When when circumstances change, when children grow up and, and they get a certain age, child support mm-hmm. is stopped. Sometimes when income, uh, when the income status changes, you go into court, you modify, you modify. So that's not that's not a problem. This this mother, this this mistress who, uh, you know, we don't know what here's what we know about her. We know she was married. Uh, she's not married anymore. We know that she was a businesswoman. Uh, and I think she may still be. I'm not sure about that. So, you know, hopefully whatever set aside for the children, uh, they will get what they're supposed to have. Uh, and, you know, life insurance policies, any good attorney that handles these kinds of cases. See, this is when you go and get an attorney who only does this. Not yeah. an attorney who does three and four or five different other things. No, no, this is what he 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 lives, he eats, he drinks, he breathes this kind of law. That's the kind of attorney you get for this kind of situation because that way, no matter what the income uh, is, there are various insurance policies and other things that will set that can be put in place so that these children will be good no matter what. And fair is fair. When the income changes, you go to court, he goes to court, and he gets this 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 child support order modified. And I think that, and I think that what most people want is just fairness. Yeah, this this right. is what, what's know, fair. Right. You, know, you know, I just want to, you know, just maybe, you know, you know, start a trust fund, which you probably already had. You know, put some money aside for college or whatever. You when know, you get in, that, listen. When you get in that, when you get in that league, yeah. and you got attorneys involved, even if it's not something mm-hmm. you would do, that kind of thing is taken care of. Mm-hmm. You're absolutely right. You're, uh, yeah. you guys are right. Uh, but you know what? Nobody stays on top forever. We know that that's the law of life. Exactly. <laughs> Anita, you're on the Milton Gatta show. Anita. Hey, hey Milton, how you doing? I love the show. Thank you. I, I, I know. I'm having difficulty hearing you, sweetie. I, I said I know that he should pay. He should pay and... People are getting bitter. They call in, but those are his children just as well as the other children are. And then, like they said, mm-hmm. modification, mm-hmm. friend of the court does whatever necessary to just uh, that he should pay. And nobody, there's nobody uses what she do with the money because she's going to take care of her children. Um, she should be paid for her time. I mean, you spend time with your kids. She's probably spending more time with her kids than he do because she's probably the one that has them in the home. Just pay. And let the kids be taken care of. Don't worry. She doesn't have to prove what she did with the money and all that because that's nobody's business. The courts don't even ask you that. No, but you know, you need to know that there was a a, a father's group uh, organized some years ago, and that group was trying to get a law. Uh, it didn't go anywhere. They were trying to get a law to that would force women to explain. I said, I wish some joker would ex- tell me to document exactly. what I do with my child support payment. Exactly. And Come I got paid more child support than she did and I used to work at Christ. I pay, I got paid $900 a week for my child and my child is in college right now and I'm going to take care of my child until she gets 26 years old and whenever she needs me. And she doesn't even get child support now. So, you, so what they do so, so you, what they do with the money is none of their business. Okay, so that, that was roughly uh, a little over $50,000 a year. Right. No, exactly. no, it was nearly about fifty thousand dollars a year is what you got in child support. Exactly. You worked at Chrysler and where did he work? At Chrysler. <laughs> <laughs> you know yep. what? I'm laughing because I'm not mad at you. You know what? People um Oh, I, I got to get in your business, so I don't know you and you. You can, know you okay. can, because my daughter go to college right now. She's okay, let me ask you this: June. Was he was he cheating? How did how did you all end up splitting? Because he he got crazy, you know, in, in Christ, he just got crazy. And oh, he had women running around be, the plant. Right, I just don't. I just didn't want to be bothered anymore because in the plant, I think that they go crazy because they don't have any windows. Oh, they got to ask <laughs> for the bathroom and all of that. <laughs> You think, wait a minute, you said they get crazy in the plant because they don't have any windows? 
They don't have any windows, and it's the same mentality. They have to ask to go to the bathroom and everything. I, was, I wasn't on the line. Well, let me ask you this. Uh, I have heard a lot of stories about plant life and about plant wives. Um, was there a particular kind of woman who fell into that category? You say what? What was, you know, I've heard stories about got, plant wives. You're saying, are there some plant wives? Yeah, there are some plant wives. There are some people that come in there. They come in dressed alike and everything. And the men have um, wives at home. They sure do. <laughs> but you, you were tired of the foolishness. Thanks for sharing your story. Right. Okay. Good you're to welcome. hear from you. Okay, bye-bye. Hey, Everett, what's up? Hey, how you doing? I'm great. Uh, you know, these guys, when they get into a relationship with young ladies and you give her the title of mistress, you should not have children with her. 